Uh, let's talk a bit about Scala.io. So the way it's organized, we have a couple of people that take off their time to do the conference. So that's me over there. And then there is a team for, for this year with uh, Luca, with a lot of work on, on the website. Mark, with uh, a lot of communications. <laughs> yes, you can thank them a lot. Like they, they make things possible. A, a huge thanks to Quentin, Quentin uh, the CEO of Clever Cloud that solved the um, feasibility issue. We, we can talk about that later, but that's thanks to Quentin, and then in Sinardi, we are able to host the conference. And then there was Va uh, Waris and Jean-Baptiste that also give us uh, some hands to make it possible. Okay, there are a couple of sponsors. So Clever Cloud that is providing a lot of support. Uh, Numine. You have seen Numide upstairs, and also they, they, have, they gave a talk on, on AI with Scala. Uh, my company as well is providing some, some support. And then uh, our host is in uh, so a wonderful venue. And the meetups, the Paris Scala User Group and the uh, Lambda Nantes Group, uh, yes, that are uh, wonderful and that help us to do the event. Especially the Lambda Nantes that solved a couple of logistic issues. <laughs> Thanks a lot to Xavier. That is an amazing keynote speaker and also a, a good helping hand at uh, solving things in Nantes. So it's good to see you again and reignite the community, uh, even if it was never dead to start with. So I get a lot of thanks at, about the conference. Like it's good that even if we stop to, to restart, we never really stopped to start with. And it's really weird to have this kind of feedback. It's like we have been working on this conference for the past 10 years, and uh, we sometimes have issues, and also with the Scala community in France in general, the community is very active, we just don't give any sign of activity. And that's sad because we are there and we work with Scala all the time, so we, we should maybe publish more and talk more about the things we do. So about the events, so the events are the visible surface of our activity as software engineer. So Scala.io is 10 years old, 10 plus. So it started in 2013 in Paris, then 2014, and an edition was planned in 2015 and did not happen. And then it was moved to Lyon. And we, we talk about that later on. And we moved to Paris, and then we, we do this edition in Nantes. And the Paris Scala User Group is way older with um, 116 events. And we had to work with a personal situation change, global pandemia, and now the sponsor permafrost. So what really happens to the event is every time we organize a, a Scala event, or in Scala.io event in France, we need to find a location that is working within our budget range. And Paris is very expensive. And that's why we had even issues in 2014 to organize the conference. Uh, we had to, to pay for a larger venue. And we were not able to organize 2015 at all. And the same thing happened this year. So with a, a change in, in the way we would equilibrate the budget, we were not able to really fully pay the venue, so we had to take a very hard cut decision this summer and say, well, we are not able to organize it. And the same things happen over and over, and we, are, we were not designed at the beginning to work with the location challenge. So Jean solved it in Lyon, and so we moved the conference to, to another place because we were able to partner with a school in Lyon and the, the venue was free. And it was the same thing with to, in 2013. We partnered with 42, so it's a engineer, software engineering school uh, in Paris. And uh, we were the first event in 42, so they gave us the venue for free and thanks to Quentin again. Um, I was able to, to open the door to, to this school. And, and it solved the issue. So that's why we reorganized the, um, the way we address things and um, make those events possible again, because 
each time we take the risk to, to take a, a location and push the conference budget to something that is not working, well, we don't make the event and then we appear as if we are not active enough. But just we are not able to balance the budget of the conference. So uh, that's where we need a bit of your help. So for the next events, uh, if you can give us connection within companies, um, that could help. Uh, if you have hosting propositions, so any form of hosting proposition for meetups or events, uh, we can work with it. And that would change a lot the number of time per year we meet in France around Scala. Like for any events, meetups, a bit larger event like a single day or only an afternoon event, or bigger event like Scala.io. So the more proposition we have for um, locations, like, well, let's say we, we have a room and we can host uh, some people around Scala, that change a lot the number of time we meet per year. And then we, we don't think like once per year, well, it's, it's cool that we meet again. We didn't meet in a long time. That's not normal. We should meet more often. So what's next for us? Uh, a couple of perspectives. So we are pushing more meetups and larger events in other cities. So um, uh, maybe, we are not sure, but we are already working on it. So maybe events in Montpellier, Lille, Paris, in, in different format. A big event in Paris at the end of the year. Like the idea was first to, to do this event in Nantes at the beginning of 2024, and then to move to um, an, an event in Paris. Paris makes things easier somehow to, to connect with uh, other cities in Europe, and also there are more people um, working with Scala in Paris as well, so it, it changed the, the um, well, the number of people that go to, to this conference and also the number of people we can connect with. So we, are, we start to work on, on a, a bigger in the number of participants, maybe not in the number of days, we, maybe a single day or um, with two tracks or something like that. Between the end of September and the beginning of, of December, it's very large. We don't know yet where to learn in, in this time frame. And also uh, more regular communication on our project. So a lot of you came to us saying like, well, we, we didn't know you were organizing something, and it's something that was already uh, in planning um, at the beginning of October on our side. Somehow, end of October? Yeah, more end of October. Um, so it's better for us if we push like, more news uh, more often so uh, you get an idea where we are moving uh, the events uh, and what is our global direction. We may change a bit the conference scope to open to other functional programming communities. Um, we have been thinking about that already for the past 10 years. We don't know how to do it properly, so um, for now it's easier for us to, to work, I mean, to to do a conference on things that interest people working with Scala. So it's not about Scala, it's more about what would uh, interest people working with Scala. So that's why we have talks about algebra and, and other things as well that are not very Scala but related to uh, the tool we use. And so we need to solve somehow a way to, to enlarge the scope and, and gather other functional programming community or or engineers that are working with uh, um, formal systems in general. And also we need to publish the videos. So the event is ending and uh, we have a lot of great talks. Uh, I have, we cannot thank enough our amazing speakers. They, they have been amazing for the past two days and they are making like, the, the core of the event, obviously. Uh, so that, uh, well, you can thank them, like, uh, please. We, we had a lot of, of great talks, um, and I, I can't wait to, to, to watch them, like um, I've been missing a lot of them already. Um, so you can also watch them to start with using the streaming link, like we keep the streaming link um, up 
open until we, we slice the video and publish the video uh, talk by talk. So, so you won't have any interruption um, accessing the content, except for the talk of Enzo this morning. We are missing 15 minutes on the link, uh, the, the beginning of the talk. So we try to, to publish that as soon as possible. And um, that's it. So thanks to all of you for joining us and, and see you very soon.